Number 10. Identify and label the Bronsted-Lowry acid, its conjugate base, and then the Bronsted-Lowry base and its conjugate acid in each of the following equations. And then we have this one over here. So in CH3OH plus H minus, you'll CH3O minus plus H2, we just have to find the four different, uh, you know, identifiers. So the easiest way to do this is to first link up your pairs. I like to start from left to right, so I'm going to highlight CH3OH. Now on the other side of the yield sign, you got to pick the right molecule that goes with that pair. And they have to look very similar. So CH3OH, this one would go with this one, right? CH3O, they're very similar, just the difference of a hydrogen. And then if we pick that right, the other one should make sense as well. H minus, you just got an H, and then, yeah, you just got an H, but you got two of them now. The next thing to do is just know where your conjugates are going. Conjugates, aka the other part of a pair that's being produced, is always going to be on the product side. So CH3O minus has to be a conjugate something, and H2 has to be a conjugate, but we don't know if it's the conjugate acid or the base just yet. On the other side, the actual Bronsted-Lowry acid and base that you're reacting with has to be the one that's on the left side of the equation, the reactants. So CH3OH has to be a Bronsted-Lowry something, and the H- minus has to be a Bronsted-Lowry something. I'm just going to say it's BL for, for Bronsted-Lowry. And now we're going to figure out which one is the actual acid and base. So. Let's pick this pair. Now we're just going to look specifically at a single pair. And remember, guys, acids always have one more hydrogen than its pay, uh, the base in the pair, the conjugate base. And then likewise, bases always have one less than its you know conjugate acid in a pair. So acids one more in a pair. Hydrogen, bases have one less hydrogen. So all you got to do is just tally up the hydrogens. Here... I have three hydrogens plus a lonely hydrogen, so I have a total of four. On the other side of the pair, I only have the three hydrogens. There's the, the other hydrogen that was here got dropped. So if that's the case, this one has one more hydrogen. Four beats out three. The acid always has one more hydrogen. So if that's the case, CH3OH has to be the Bronsted-Lowry acid. And then because of that, the other part of the pair has to be the base. Then you just do the same thing for the other pair. Oh, kind of overshot that a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So H minus, literally only one H. H2, you have two hydrogens. <laughs> the acid always has one more. So I have two hydrogens versus one. H2 would be the acid. And then likewise, H minus would be the conjugate base, actually not the conjugate base, the base of the pair. And that's your answer. All four of these are identified now. Just notice that on either side of the yield sign, you only have one acid and one base. So if you do something on a quiz or a test and you get two acids or two bases on one side of the equation, go back, something went wrong, but that's okay. It's a good check to just make sure that you're doing it correctly. Hopefully this makes sense. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love to talk to you guys. Let me know in the comments how you're doing in your class and if this, you know, these videos are helping you out. Check the channel out. We also have physics and math videos at the moment with much more to come in the future. So hang tight and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.